Hi guys, it's a black girl with a garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to teach you how to grow and plant your own jackfruit. Okay, let's go. So jackfruits are those humongous, massive fruit that you see at most of your local grocery stores. It kind of puts you in the mind of a large, extremely large pine cone. So if you ever see one of those in the store, try to pick one up. They usually weigh about 10 to 15 pounds. Some of them can get as large as 30 pounds. So about a month or so ago, I was at my local uh, supermarket and I saw uh, some jackfruit. They actually had it cut up into slices and it was like four bucks for about four pieces. I've never eaten jackfruit before and I said, hey, what the heck, let's just try to grow it. So me being who I am, a black girl with a garden, I decided to purchase um, the little four pack of the jackfruit. So if you've never seen a jackfruit before, I would encourage you to take a look at one online. I will try to find a photo and link the photo for you so you can actually be able to see it. However, I got the jackfruit, bought it home, and I opened it up and pulled out the seeds. So jackfruit seeds are massive. They look like big eyeballs. <laughs> so I bought one home and I gave it the old paper towel treatment, which is one of my secrets to germinating my plants. I actually take a paper towel and I get it damp and I wring it out while it still has moisture in it and I put my seed inside and I put it inside a Ziploc bag and I zip it closed and put it in my kitchen window. Luckily for me, about a week or so later, I started to see some movement and activity within my plant, so I just, within my seed brother. And it made me know that that was an indicator that the germination was actually working. So with that being said, I went ahead and continued to monitor it, monitor it, and monitor it. And today I get ready to open up my jackfruit and look what I have. Wow. In under a month's time, the jackfruit has already grown out of its shell, grown out of its seed, and is ready for me to plant it. So today, I'm going to show you how to plant jackfruit. All right, first off, this content is not sponsored by Lowe's or miracle Grow, but I use a lot of their products. So hopefully one day I will be able to obtain some type of sponsorship for my program so that I continue to grow my platform and show others how to grow green with me. So as you can see, I have a very small pot of soil. I don't want to start this plant out in a large pot because I know I will have to repot it. So I put my, um, my potting soil mix. I'm using, like I said, miracle Grow potting mix. Um, I like that, this particular brand, because it really helps my plants. And I take a little bit of my miracle Grow shake and feed, and I just shake a little bit of that in there with the plant. And I just kind of give it a quick little shake, okay? dig a little hole because the jackfruits, they will have a massive, massive um, root. So I definitely want to make sure that it has enough room to expand out. So this is just a starter plant until it gets taller and then I will move it over, transport, plant it into a larger pot. So as you can see, look at the roots on that. I mean, it's just amazing. It looks like um, Audrey too from Little Shop of, <laughs> from Little Shop of Horror. So it's kind of funky looking on the back. It kind of puts you in the mind of a scorpion. If you look closely, um, looks looks like a scorpion, but it's not, thank goodness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and I'm going to sit it down inside of my pot like so, okay? And I'll come closer so that you actually can see that I just set it right down into the pot. And I'm gonna grab some more potting soil and oh, gently, <laughs> gently, 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 I'm going to cover the plant and I'm gonna give it a little bit of pat down. You know, not too much because I don't wanna break the roots, but a gentle pat down and I'm gonna try this again and not try to pour 
an entire bag of potting soil into this small cup. And again, give it a little small shake. So I can pat it down so we can get some good roots going. I'm gonna come in one more time with my miracle Grow shaking feet. And this is basically an all-purpose fertilizer and it's so good for your plants. So I said, I would recommend that you pick some of this up and give your plants a little bit of a fertilizer. And as you can see, they're little granules. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on there. And I will take an empty water bottle that I always use when I'm, when I'm growing my plants, when I'm starting my starters and seeds. And when it's time for me to plant them, I always get me a, a water bottle, an empty soda bottle, and I always put a couple holes in the top. And I just give my plants a little bit of a, a little bit of spray of water. Not enough to drown the plant, but enough for it to actually be able to get some water going to the plant. Because I'm taking it out of its normal habitat and moving it over to its temporary home. So, we're gonna see how this turns out. This is the first time that I've tried to grow jackfruit. And just from doing research, I've noticed, I've discovered rather, that jackfruits, a uh, 15 gallon jackfruit can run as expensive as 500 bucks. Uh, and a five gallon jackfruit pot, potted plant can run as, as high as uh, $150. So. With me having so many different jackfruit seeds to plant, if I were to decide to sell them, I think I would make a nice little profit on them. They grow really, really well. Uh, they create large, large, large um, plants. They give you large fruit. And that fruit can be used as a filler for my vegan loving friends. Um, you can use that in the place of meat when you're making stews and soups and all that fun stuff, so jackfruit. It has a taste, I would say, of um, a mixture of a mango, pineapple, and a coconut put together. If that's such a thing, that's the taste and flavor that I got when I tasted it. So, again, if you like my content, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the like button and subscribe so that you too can receive the notifications when I upload a new video. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching The Black Girl with a Garden. Let's grow.